Good afternoon. It is a privilege for me to share our work on rescuing conjunctival lymphatics from mitomycin C induced damage in rat model of glaucoma surgery. Now, one might wonder why do these lymphatics need rescuing in the first place? During glaucoma surgeries, the conjunctival draining vessels are damaged either due to cutting off the vessels or usage of intraoperative cautery, and the most important being application of mitomycin C during the trabeculectomy surgery, which not only damages the pre-existing draining channels, but also prevents their reformation in the post-operative period. A study published in 2021 used ocular surface lymphangiography in live humans and has demonstrated the role of lymphatics in fluid removal from the subconjunctival area. Another study published in 2016 evaluated the density of blood and lymphatic channels in eyes with leaking blebs post MMC trap and compared it with the normal human conjunctiva. They concluded that MMC has a toxic effect on these blood vessels and lymphatic channels and all this leads to a defective fluid removal from the subconjunctival space, eventually causing bleb failure. This led us to wonder, can we induce lymphangiogenesis in the subconjunctival space, especially after MMC application? So on further literature search, we came across this molecule, retinoic acid, which is a biological active metabolite of vitamin A. It has been evaluated for its lymphangiogenetic potential in rat models of uh, lymphedema. However, there were no studies available on its usage in eyes. So we devised a study to see the effect of MMC application on these conjunctival lymphatics and to see the reversal of MMC induced inhibition of lymphatics by simultaneous application of retinoic acid. It was a prospective experimental interventional study done on 25 sprague dolly rats, which were divided into five groups. The right eye in all the groups was the intervention eye and the left eye was control. We used a 30 gauge needle to inflict injury in the subconjunctival space and formed a superior subconjunctival bleb, which was according to each group specification. In group A, we used balanced salt solution. In group B, we used MMC. In group C, we used the 100 nanomole concentration of retinoic acid. In group D, we combined MMC with retinoic acid. And group P was the dimethyl sulfoxide group. This DMSO is a dilutant for reconstituting retinoic acid. And we wanted to rule out any confounding effect of DMSO on lymphatics. Hence, this separate group was devised. On post-op day 14, the eyes were renucleated and sent to pathology lab for staining with maize and trichome, CD31 and D240, which are the vascular and lymphatic endothelial markers respectively. And we saw what was the fibrosis, lymphatic and vascular density. Now coming to the results, these are the histopathological slides. In the first image, we can see this is normal conjunctival tissue and the arrows marked show here the normal conjunctival lymphatics. In the second image, we can see there is an increase in the number of conjunctival lymphatics when there is a localized injury with balanced salt solution. In the third image, we can see there is a decrease in the number of conjunctival lymphatics in the MMC treated eyes. The fourth image shows a dramatic increase in the conjunctival lymphatics when MMC was combined with retinoic acid. This table shows and highlights the fact that the mean lymphatic count was higher in the combined MMC and retinoic acid group when compared to the MMC treated eyes. The first graph here shows the intra-group analysis between the intervention and control eye. We can see MMC has a significantly lower conjunctival lymphatic count in the intervention eye when compared to its control. And the combined MMC retinoic acid group had a higher conjunctival lymphatic count in the intervention eye when compared to its control. Similarly, on intergroup analysis, we found uh, the combined group had higher conjunctival lymphatic count when compared with the MMC treated eyes. So, MMC resulted in significant reduction in conjunctival lymphatic density. 100 nanomole concentration of retinoic acid significantly increased the conjunctival lymphatic density, not only when used alone, but also in the MMC treated eyes. So we conclude that synthetic retinoic acid prevents MMC-induced reduction of lymphatic vessel density in rat eyes, and it has a potential application in preventing or reversing the MMC-induced complications of glaucoma surgery, and thus improve our surgical outcomes. I would like to thank my mentor, Professor Pandav, sir, for guiding me throughout this study, and AOS for this opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, see, we have been using MMC since the last two or three decades now. Yes, for sir. glaucoma surgery. Yes, sir. And uh, even assuming that what you're saying is right, that it has a, a bad effect on the lymphatics. Yes, sir. There has been the success rate of a trabeculectomy with MMC has been pretty high. Yes, sir. So is there a need to uh, 
use something else to counter the effects of MMC? That was the uh, whole aim of this study, sir. We cannot discourage the usage of MMC because there's a reason why it came into practice. So we wanted to know whether we can add something to the ongoing practice. And according to our study, retinoic acid shows that if we add retinoic acid during the intraoperative time, it may actually counteract its negative effects and we can happily utilize its positive effects that is preventing the subconjunctival fibrosis postoperatively. So for now, this is an experimental study and retinoic acid is yet to be used in humans. Uh, it has been used in mouse tail lymphedema models. Actually, it was being investigated by a different set of specialists. We came across this study and we thought we can maybe connect the dots together and promote a future possibility of research in this area. Any study? Exactly. Ah, Yes, sir, but retinoic acid is commonly used by our dermatologists for treating a lot of dermatological conditions. So there is a possibility that it's less likely to have toxicity because it's already being used on the human body. It has not been used, so we are the first one to use it. Any study to quote failure of uh, blab uh, following use of uh, MMC intraoperative? Yes, sir. I've shown one study. There are multiple studies, actually. The one I used had the largest sample size. Mm -hmm. They took normal conjunctiva uh, from uh, normal humans, and they t uh, took their leaking bleb patients, which were post trab MMC. And they had said that the conjunctival count was Congratulations. It's really an innovative study because the role of MMC also for the ocular surface has come down because of this, uh, I mean, problem that you have mentioned. Yes, so you're trying to work on it. It's really nice. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, sir.